So I have this image with a uh, background and logo. Um, so by the way, I'm doing this on Photo P, but you can do this in Photoshop. Uh, the process is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a uh, border kind of uh, stroke around this whole image. So how to do that? First of all, uh, whenever you want to do uh, that, you want to, uh, if you want to add border, what you need to do is first you need to go to uh, new. Uh, I mean, you need to add new layer. You go to add new layer, click, and you add, you add new layer, and empty layer, blank layer, whatever you call it. So, so this blank layer, what you what you need to do is you you're gonna first fill up uh, a color, okay? Fill this empty area with a color. So here, what I have is black and white color. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, if you press Alt and Backspace, it fills the area, the empty area, with uh, foreground color. And if you press Control and Backspace, it space. Uh, I mean, it, it fills the area with uh, background color. So whatever you need, you choose the color. You can choose color, and then uh, you can fill the area. But it doesn't actually matter because eventually this is this color is gonna disappear because this is the image we are looking for and if you cover that with this white color it doesn't make sense okay so once you fill the layer with color what you need to do is you can see this fill this is 100 percent go here and drag it and make it in zero zero fill now the thing is you have filled this layer with a color but it's not visible okay that's the first thing now next thing you just double click on the layer and you uh, get this layer style so you want to go to stroke click on the stroke once you click on the stroke you get this check mark here okay if if not uh, if it's not checked you need to click on check so you can see this red line because i've already done this before that's why it's like that otherwise it doesn't show up because by default this position here you can see here position is uh, outside so outside means outside this canvas okay or this image so the stroke stroke is outside the canvas so you don't see it so you're gonna click here and change it to inside once you do that you have this um, options first you know you can change the size here you can drag the size here okay um, whatever size you need you can uh, adjust and fix it okay so for now this much is okay this much is fine for me and other than that you don't need to do anything you just uh, opacity is 100 percent so you don't need to do anything just go to this color click here and then you can change the color to whatever you like so let's say we're gonna actually we need to uh, choose a brighter color I'm gonna tell you the reason we're gonna choose brighter color you can choose a uh, darker color too you know that works too but I'm gonna to do uh, something uh, in the next step that's why I'm choosing a brighter color and click OK now the next thing you can add if you want darker color darker stroke you don't need to do this next step 
just uh, choose a darker color here in this color picker. If you're keeping uh, this uh, bright color, if you're following me, then you can do this next step. That is to go to inner glow. Okay. If you want to go inner glow, by default, it's, uh, it's I guess, uh, lighten, something like that. So, you, and uh, by default, you have a like bright color. So, what you need to do is you need to go to this blend mode and choose multiply. And in this color, instead of bright color, you need to choose dark color, like this. Okay, let's, let's choose a dark color and click OK. So now this is ready, you can just play with this opacity if you want, uh, want this to be darker, even darker, you can go all the way to 100 opacity or if you just need a little bit of it, just decrease the opacity. Right now I would uh, keep it to 70% and what you can do is you can adjust the size, okay. If you need like this, you can do like this. If you need more, you can do like this. You can drag okay. and spread. You can play with the uh, spread. You get something like this effect. If the spread is uh, less, you, you get like more gradient effect. Okay, softer gradient, I would say. Yeah. So this is what you get. Uh, I would go to stroke and choose even the lighter color here. Okay. And then click OK. And I would go to this background and I can uh, dec uh, decrease the brightness to make it a little darker. Okay, um, that doesn't look good. Maybe I should uh, go to hue saturation and I'm going to go to this lightness and yeah, something like this. Um, yeah, um, but I think that's it's fine. You can just go uh, double click here and instead of choosing green you can just choose a different color here so that it looks a little different something like this okay and yeah you're done click OK and OK okay so this is how you make um, kind of stroke uh, around the canvas uh, if you get it yeah we usually mm, call it canvas in Photoshop if you go here you have this canvas size so yeah canvas or a full image whatever you call it uh, yeah that's the process uh, it's the same in Photoshop I'm doing this in photo P but as you can tell the interface is the exact copy so you um you can do this in photoshop so i hope you like this video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button um leave a comment below and do not forget to subscribe to this channel